been on the streets for seven years and they've uh, been working with shelter and in the last 12 months now they've got me a flat I'm doing really well they've just supported me the help that I've got has been amazing last, this time last year I was on the streets I was homeless I had nothing all I had was a rucksack some people come and got us uh, I, I think they were from shelter I can't even remember it was the people that come and got us the uh, it was actually under a pile of snow, apparently, and they come and they didn't even know that there was people under. They just come and checked under the pile of snow. There was that much snow, and it mean, well, I was under the snow, under the blankets, under the snow. So obviously they got me, and then uh, they took me to Saint uh, Church in Oldham Road, Saint, Com Saint Cuthbert's Church. And they had like 30 beds in there for all the lads, all the homeless lads over the winter, which was a great help for us. Keep got us all off the streets. It was in a real dark place at the time, you know, just, bed was really messed up, in a really dark place, you know, just taking class A's, anything, anything really, just, just to numb the pain of being on the streets, of the life that I had, just wanted to better myself, so obviously now Shelter had come, had got involved, I, I would say they rescued me, I, I, I would say I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't just Shelter, so I thought, right, I've got all the support now of Shelter, I've got everything there, so, so right, everything's on the table. Take the opportunities, Jason, so I did. So I thought I'd get myself on the ladder a bit, you know, try and get myself out of this hole. So I've got myself on four courses. And it's really weird, this bit, because it's, it's dead mad, this now. Every day I was going across the road for my dinner at these shops for three months in the summer, sat on the grass in the dinner, looking up at these flats and that, thinking to myself in my head, oh, I'd love a flat round here, one of them. And anyway, I finished my courses successfully, passed all my courses, brilliant. But as you know, I'm, I'm engaging with shelter, I'm trying to find all the opportunities I can to get myself out of the hole, you know, helping myself as much as I possibly can. And lo and behold, I get a phone call. And, uh, and then Catherine, my shelter worker, says to me, she mentions the name of the flats. I says, why does that ring a bell? And lo and behold, I've only just been sat there for the last three months on the grass looking up at the block of flats where I've been. You, you understand what I mean? It's, it's mad. It's like it all fell into place, if you know what I mean. It's, it was crazy. It was like it's meant to be. And the flat is absolutely amazing. The flat that I got offered. It was beautiful, clean, absolutely clean, brilliant. Shelter's helped me with everything. Catherine's my support worker, has done brilliant. It's been amazing what she's done for me. I can't thank the, the lady so much. Sorted me flat out, made it a secure home. It's great, you know, I can just to have a set of keys in hand, what I can call home, you know, because I've lived in hostels and hotels and the streets. It's not a home. I've not had nowhere I can call home for you. Don't know how long, you know, a stable base where I can actually, now I can accumulate things and things like that, you know. The confidence what the game made is amazing. I've come from there, from nothing to there, and I'm, I'm now working with uh, Trafford Housing Trust, and uh, I'm upcycling furniture in their store to help with shelter and everybody's help. I think I'm doing really well. You know, I've, I've, I'm, I've turned my life round. So I'm so grateful for, for all the help that's been given to me off shelter. I can't thank you enough. Thank you. I, couldn't, I can't thank you so much. Been so helpful. I can't, I'm so grateful for what they've done.